When we feel relaxed and sleepy after eating, it is called postprandial somnolence. We will explain why it happens. First mechanism is blood redistribution. Especially if you eat large meal, your body shifts blood flow towards digestive system and other organs get less blood. Of course, it does not mean that your body and your brain gets less blood. It's not correct because our body is designed that brain always gets enough blood. But it has some role. It's not major role, but some role. So blood redistribution is first mechanism. Second mechanism is tryptophan formation, which means if you eat carbohydrates, especially bakery products, cakes, bread, then your body gets glucose very fast and pancreas releases insulin. Insulin causes uh, absorption of glucose by cells and insulin helps also amino acids to be absorbed by muscles. But insulin does not cause tryptophan absorption and tryptophan stays in the blood. It causes relative increase of tryptophan in the blood. It crosses blood brain barrier and tryptophan is converted into serotonin. After serotonin, serotonin causes relaxed and feeling of pleasure. And after some time, serotonin is converted to melatonin and melatonin causes sleepiness. So mechanism is that we eating glucose and it causes increased tryptophan level. Tryptophan causes release of serotonin and serotonin is converted to melatonin and we feel sleepy. Third mechanism is parasympathetic activity. Parasympathetic nervous system is inhibitory part of our um, nervous system we have sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic is activates our body for example sympathetic nervous system increase heart rate parasympathetic decrease heart rate uh, so um, and uh, this parasympathetic nervous system is also called as relax and digest pace it means when parasympathetic nervous system is activated, it causes relaxation of body. It causes it stim stimulates digestion. Actually, it slows down heart rate. It decreases blood pressure. And now maybe you have question: Why this parasympathetic nervous system is activated? Because when we eat, uh, food stretches our gastric, our stomach and intestines and it activates parasympathetic nervous system and we have result result is uh, release of acetylcholine which is inhibitory neurotransmitter and it causes relaxation and calm of body and fourth mechanism is low glucose level it it looks like paradoxically for example when we eat cakes or when we eat bread or bakery products we get glucose we get lots of glucose and logically we should have high blood glucose level but when insulin is released insulin causes absorption of this glucose into body and we have hypoglycemia so even if we eat glucose we have low blood glucose level and when we have low blood glucose level our brain recognize it and we feel fatigue and a lack of energy uh, that's uh, effect of carbohydrates also uh, that's why carbo especially carbohydrates causes too much relaxation and feel sleepy and weak and fatty foods also important because they stay in the uh, digestive system long period of time and they cause fullness and person feels uh, full and relaxed and tryptophan containing foods also important as we said when you eat glucose it causes 
increased level of tryptophan but we also have tryptophan containing foods like turkey cheese chicken eggs tofu fish and nuts and when you eat this food it causes increased tryptophan level in your blood it causes increased serotonin level in the blood blood serotonin in the brain serotonin causes relaxation and feeling pleasure and serotonin has antidepressant activity also and you feel relaxed and after it serotonin is converted to melatonin and person feels sleepy so we have tryptophan mechanism in two cases first is when we eat carbohydrates second it second is when we eat tryptophan containing foods but here is also distinction when you eat carbohydrates for example chocolate or cake or bread you feel immediate satisfaction because when glucose is absorbed your brain gets glucose and dopamine is released and dopamine causes immediate reward and satisfaction and you also get serotonin and you feel pleasure because of serotonin also but main mechanism in case of carbohydrates is dopamine but it's short-term pleasure that's why you want and want and crave sugar because you want this immediate pleasure continuously and in case of tryptophan tryptophan effect is longer but this pleasure is not immediate it's long-term pleasure uh, but uh, but it's low level pleasure compared to glucose that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now